Hi, I'm Alex Palt with Open Systems Media and Embedded Computing, and I'm here at the Things Conference with Jan Willem and Ali Smink from Sodak. Now, first I want to ask you, same last names, are you guys family? Yeah, he's my father. Hey, good looking gentleman. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, um, Sodak, what does that stand for? Is it an acronym? Sodak stands for Solar Powered Data Acquisition. We make devices that run on renewable energy, solar power. Ah. And, and that's where the whole LoRa thing comes in, because LoRa is a technology that is made to use very little power. Actually, the low in LoRa stands for low power as well as for long range. Well, the low power thing is for us a very important one. Right, now when you first said solar powered and you pointed over here, I'm like, was it cattle powered? Or no, it's a, it's a solar powered cattle chip. We actually, we actually have two different uh, versions here. So uh, some cattle prefer to have earrings and some pr uh, prefer to have necklaces. So uh, we have a collar and uh, They go to Saks ear Fifth Avenue, no, <laughs> earrings and necklaces? No, go ahead, yeah. Yeah, so uh, both of them are solar powered. Um, the one that's on the collar has a little more functionality, so you can connect Bluetooth, other Bluetooth devices to it, for example. Well, you've got a nice case size. You can put a lot of electronics in there. Yeah, bigger battery. Uh, this is more suitable also for less tropical environments where there's less sun. Uh, and then the, the, the AirTag is really suitable for a very sunny environment. Um, this uh, module here, it uh, obviously communicates over LoRa. Uh, what we do is we collect positioning information as well as accelerometer uh, data and we send that every 30 minutes uh, over the LoRa network. Well also, okay, now what's the accelerometer data telling me? I mean, I, I can figure location is important and all, but what's the accelerometer telling me? Now what you see, there's a lot of research being done at the moment on what kind of behavior can we derive from the data that you get out of an accelerometer. And uh, one of the leading universities in this, here Wageningen University in, in the Netherlands, um, they have identified approximately nine different states in which the cow can be uh, on basis of the data you get from the accelerometer. And the, the more interesting ones are, uh, is the cow pregnant? Is the cow fertile? Is the cow ill? And all these things are just by, by analyzing uh, the their movement. Mo their movement, because yeah. I was going to say, some of those sound really pregnancy from movement, that, but I gather they do have changes in their behavior. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if I remember when my wife was pregnant of him, she had a totally different behavior. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Jen, where did the idea come from for Sodak? How long has Sodak been in operation? Well, Sodak as a company exists for uh, over six years now. And uh, when we started this, we started these ideas, was well, shortly after when we returned for a long-term uh, stay in, in Africa. Um, Oli here grew up in uh, Tanzania, East Africa, and uh, by the time he had to go to university, we moved back to Holland. And we thought, well, with uh, particularly in the tropics where there's so much uh, solar energy, uh, we can do so much more than what people are doing at the moment. And then that, that's when, in, in 2013, this whole Internet of Things mm -hmm. hype started, and we thought we need to be part of it. We need to start making things that uh, will make the life of, for instance, farmers way easier. And, and so one of the things is that we work with, with, with animals, but also we do a lot with uh, the agricultural part of things, like uh, uh, measuring environmental uh, variables, uh, the, the, the weather, the soil moisture, etc. cetera. We, we, we do that all using the same type of technologies. Really? So, because I was just about to ask you, what, are the, what other application spaces do you address? Well, so, uh, one of the interesting projects we do is actually uh, with a water management uh, facility of Amsterdam. Uh, uh, they have a huge uh, LoRa network actually in their water collection uh, estate. And uh, over there we're monitoring, for example, water flow between the different reservoirs to make sure the people of Amsterdam have enough drinking water and shower water when they need it. Well, I would imagine that would also involve flood control or no? Um, in this project not, but we actually do have uh, different applications where we do water quality as well as water level uh, monitoring. Yeah. So, um, so we got agriculture, we've got water management, any other spaces? A very interesting one is a project that we're doing with uh, the province of Utrecht, so in the center of Holland. Um, we started monitoring air quality. Now, the interesting thing is, is that um, you can put an air quality sensor up in a pole somewhere, and you measure the air quality at that specific spot. Now, what we made is a portable air quality manager that you uh, attach to your bicycle. So it fits to the handlebars of the bicycle, and you measure the air quality while cycling. So you don't uh, collect data from just a single point, but you create a new point every 50 meters, basically. Well, you could have a fleet of bicycles with this type of technology. Absolutely. So we've, we've done a pilot with, with 10 units now, 
and we just got an order in for uh, extending that to 500 units. And with 500 units, you, you generate a hell of a lot of data. And that's, that's uh, I, I think, much more interesting than just measuring it on a single point. I agree with you yeah. completely, and that gives you a tremendous amount of big data. So in one sense, you can leverage all of that information and really get some out, something out of it. Uh, see that you're, you're, you're really well into this, uh, this matter, because IoT is actually the biggest generator of big data around us. Uh, all these IoT de devices generate data, and we collect all these data, and that's when it starts becoming interesting. So it's also, let's say, uh, the correlation between data from one device and from another device can contribute to much more data. So it's, it's, it's one and one is three, basically. Very nice, yeah. very nice. No, so, how do people find you? What's your uh, website? Well, the website, of course, is www.sodac.com. Um, but yeah, typically we've been around for so long, so most people that find us Google on more generic terms like IoT or LoRa, and, uh, and they tend to, fi to find us. So uh, I, I must say uh, it, 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 it has been really easy for us to get in touch with uh, people and projects. Very cool. Yeah. Well, hey, I really appreciate you gentlemen taking the time at this very busy event, and thanks for being here. Thank you as well. Thanks for the interviews.